Good morning. Good morning. Great morning. Cheers. Coffee with the clients. What you got, Morgan? Got some tea in there today? Got some mint tea in there today. Yep. The mint medley. I got a little black coffee today. Hope you guys are having a great day. How you feeling, Morgan? I'm feeling good. Feeling good. Excited to be on here. Uh, we're going to talk about goals today, guys. We're going to share with you guys how Devin and I are structuring our goals for 2023 so we can um, give you guys a little bit more framework and structure to help you plan what your 2023 goals. So why is it important to make goals? Well, it's important to make goals because you need something to strive for. And Morgan taught me something about goals recently because I'm the type of person that sets goals that uh, are almost impossible to reach because I enjoy the challenge. I enjoy the climb. The effort is, uh, the reward is in the effort for me. And that's what I've always uh, thought about as a baseball player. I guess I'm kind of conditioned that way because I always had the dream to go to the big leagues and that's a small likelihood that you go to the big leagues even when you're a great player. So um, yeah, and then and then you taught me that, you know, hey Devin, goals are meant to be achieved. <laughs> and so, Smart goals. yeah, well, and so then we blended our two philosophies together and we came up with a uh, basic, like a basic framework. And we wanted to share that framework with you guys so that you could set your goals. And we wanted to look at it from six buckets, okay, six buckets. So if you have a, it's always a good idea if you do like following coffee with the clients to grab a pencil or a pen and some paper or some notes on your phone because this is our time to uh, talk about the things that we do and our experience share with you so that you can take some nuggets away for your life. Yes, and this, before we get into the structure, I just want to talk about why I think it's important to set goals. So we will either design the life that we want to live or life will just be lived for us. Good morning, Deanna. Good morning. So again, like you either get to be the designer of your own life or life just happens to you and you go by day by day until we no longer are on this earth. And so what do you want to do with your time? And I think that's very important to put structure around it. So recreating yourself, you get to recreate and design your life every single day, every opportunity when you wake up and you're breathing, you get to design what you want your day to look like and what you want your life to look like. And at any moment, you can change it. You have the power to change it. We live in a country where we have the power to change it and you can do that. So um, you recreate yourself every day, but if you wanna put more structure around that, this is something that you could do on your birthday every year as you're entering a new year, a new trip around the sun, you know, recreating yourself and what are the goals that you wanna accomplish in that year of life. So whether you're doing it at your birthday or whether you're doing it as like a new year, New Year's resolution, um, I think it's very important to define what you want life to look like for that next 12 months. And so we call that the theme. That's what the, we call it the theme. So you need to have a theme for 2023. And what we want to hear from you guys is what is your theme for 2023? I'll share with you mine. Morgan, have you got your theme yet? I know you have your goals, but have you thought about your punchline, your theme? Okay. Well, Morgan and I like to do this uh, in kind of like the last cut. We, we start working on it. Our birthdays are in October and November. Yeah. So we actually started working on this around Devin's birthday. And um, this is a new structure for us. We've always had some sort of a structure in different buckets of our life, whether that was health, personal, and business. But this is going to break it down into three more um, categories, really, more specifically. So there's a little snapshot of how it looks, but we'll go through. So this is mine, and this is this my is blank. blank this is my blank version. And I'll share some of my goals with you, but also some of them are personal, and I won't share all of them. Uh, but the theme for me is the year of recreating myself. And the reason why I say that is because I just transitioned into the visionary role and Morgan is now running the company as the CEO. And I think it's really important for me to take a step back and to make sure that everything that I'm doing uh, is aligned with the, the new role that I have. And to me, there's, um, to me, there's a, an opportunity to to recreate in a sense, to get back in a sense also to where I was in 2012 when we, you know, there was no burn boot camp and we were just, you know, wild, wild west and I'm knocking on doors and passing out door hangers and, um, you know, doing that whole, doing the whole nine yards, the whole guerrilla marketing. And so now I feel back in that position because Morgan is, uh, taking really the reins of the company and is driving it forward. So mine is the year of recreating myself. What is yours? What is yours? I think anybody can have a, you can, re, like I just said, you can recreate yourself every year. So that could be your theme too. Could be, Feel it could be, it. but you don't have to. All right. So the way we've structured this is in uh, six different categories, like Devin mentioned, and you're going to, you're going to talk about 
what you're going to, what first you identify, what is the goal in each six of these categories that we're going to lay out? What is a goal? And it's best to have a smart goal, right? So that means, and I've talked about this before, but you know, it's, it's specific. It is um, realistic. Okay. Help me here. Specific. Um, measurable, measurable, attainable, attainable, timely, timely and realistic, realistic, well, realistic timely. And timely. I know I'm so bad at remember that. Yeah. You know what so, it means though. It means just make sure that it's specific. That it's specific and you can obviously measure it and that it's realistic. Okay. And that goes back to like teaching Devin a little bit about realistic goals because there is something to be said in your mindset when you constantly are not reaching a goal that is a, a form of failure and you know, everybody navigates that differently. So, yes. all right. So the six okay. buckets, so okay. you're going to identify what is the goal in each of those buckets and you want it to be a smart goal. Mm -hmm. um, and then what are you going to stop doing? One thing. And then what are you going to start doing? One thing. To help you get to that goal. Those are also smart. Those have to be specific. Okay. They have to be measurable. They have to be attainable. They have to be realistic and they have to be timely. So what are you going to, what's the goal? What are you going to stop doing? And then what are you going to start doing? So the the six buckets we have, number one. Money and assets. Money and assets. Number two. Career and business. Those are different because your career or your business generates money and assets for you and your family. And you need to take care of your personal financial house just as much as you're taking care of the company or uh, the business's financial house that you're a part of. Okay. Number three is development and growth. That is personal development. That is what are you going to do this year? One thing that you're going to stop doing, one thing you're going to start doing, and a goal that you have that is very specific again, that is your personal development goal. Is that to, and I'll, we'll, we'll, we won't share yet. We'll go sharing in a minute. Okay, let's do the other three. All right, next one is family and friends. Family and friends. All right, this is one that I definitely have some big goals in this year. Health and fitness. Your personal health and fitness. And then rituals and routines. And those are the habits. Those are the things that you are, that are crafting the dream, right? This is a one-year outlook. And the way that we get to our goals is by what we do every single day when we wake up and, and uh, making sure that that is a ritual, something that is repeatable, that is just a part of your lifestyle. And a ritual is more permanent and a routine is more fleeting. You can have different routines with kind of different periods of life or different days during the week, but a ritual is non-negotiable things. Okay. So those six buckets. All right. And then we're going to go through and we're going to share some of ours. Do you want to go first? Let me pull yours up. Yeah. I got my computer open here. Um, it's right here. This one. Okay. Got it. I had it pulled open already. I have too many things. Okay. There we go. Okay. So Morgan, uh, let's start with you in health. Uh, I want you health and fitness. Okay, so health and fitness, I have balanced my hormones and my gut health. So I probably need to get better to make that a little bit more of a smart goal. Um, but I'm on this journey of balancing my hormones. Obviously, gut health is very important part of that. And so that's something that I'm committed to. Now, what do I need to do and what do I need to stop doing? First of all, I need to stop drinking more than one time a week. Alcohol does not help with your hormones. It doesn't help with your sleep. It doesn't help with your gut balance. And so um, I don't typically drink more than one time a week. However, I feel like in the past couple months, it's been more than one time a week. So I want to get back into the, listen, be disciplined, right? One time a week and say no the other times. And you're going to make sure that you're taking care of your body. And that's going to be increasingly more difficult for you because as a, as a, well, it is right. And that's yeah. why it's a goal because it, it will be, you will be put in more positions to uh, be around other people in different business settings. And with the, our franchise partners, they, we go out to dinners when we're on the road on Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday. And I know that some of you, most of you that are professionals do the same. Uh, and, and so, yeah, that's, that's a tough, that's a tougher said than done. And my point of just elaborating is you want these goals to be like formidable goals. You know, you don't, you don't want them to be so stretched that you can't hit them. Like I tend to set my goals, but you want them to be formidable, meaning that you need to become a better person. Some part of your personality pie has to develop into something that's never been before in order to, in order to reach the goal. Um, so that's what I'm going to stop doing. And then I'm going to start eating a better diet and Again, I need to get a little bit more specific here, but me personally, I would like to add in more 
vegetables and greens into my diet. Um, I'm really good in the other categories, but I feel like I, I almost am too basic sometimes in my diet and I'm eating like carbs and protein, but it's, I'm not getting a lot of nutrients out of my food sometimes. So that's one thing that I know will help balance my hormones and my gut health. And, and we still and, have two weeks, right? To like dial these in. Yeah. Cause we and, started at your birthday and we want to get it done by, you know, going into 23. Yeah. And gluten is another thing that I've noticed. I removed it for like six weeks. I've added it back in. And I can tell that gluten is definitely something that makes me not feel good. So I want to remove that from my diet. Okay. So that's my bucket. Okay. That's health, your health right. and fitness bucket. Give us one example for you. Okay. Let's go development and growth. I am a huge uh, personal development and growth uh, junkie. It's, I mean, you can see the books behind me, some of my favorite books uh, you know, on my shelves here. Morgan, Morgan is a big uh, reader as well, big listener as well. And so part of our culture as a family has always been, you know, the self-taught culture. Like when you have no resources, get resourceful when, you know, there's not a, if there's a will, there's a way, that type of attitude. And to me that development and growth is the fundamental, uh, the fundamental, it's the foundation to everything else in this, in this kind of chart here. So I'm going to elaborate on that. What was my goal is I now want to flip from consuming content to then creating content, right? I've been consuming content for 12 years trying to make myself better and I've learned so much and I feel obligated now as a visionary to get out of this day-to-day -day role that, that you know, in the CEO chair, I'll have more time to be able to, to have articulated thoughts and to make blog posts. So mine is to write one blog post per week in 2023 and make one podcast on the Burn Bootcamp podcast every single day. Like Monday through Friday? Like or? Monday through Monday, every day. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. Make one blog post per week, and then one podcast every day. And we've actually been doing that since November, so I feel like there's good trajectory there, but I haven't, uh, I haven't been able to write in a while, and you know me, like I love to write, and that's kind of how I started this journey is, is, is writing an email every week. I don't know if any of you, I know we saw Deanna Mullis on here earlier. What's up, Dee? I know she probably remembers my emails I used to send out, but I'm going to get back to that. Stop doing, holding back your personal story, I'm gonna make the course story video this year. So I always, I have this like tendency to um, not, to not share my story because I don't think it's as impactful or inspiring as other people might. And if enough people tell you, you know, that you, they, they love your story and your story is inspiring to them, then you should consider in making, uh, you, you should consider inspiring more people with that story. And so the core story video is the outcome. It's specific and I want to make one video and it's going to incorporate Morgan and I and our family. And it's just going to tell the story of, of from when we were born until right now so that people can get to know us better and um, are more motivated to listen to the podcasts that we're going to make every day because our story is cool and you have a cool one too. You have an awesome story and everybody has a story and everybody can learn, everyone can learn from your story. Okay, so uh, start is I will read one book per month in depth and use that book to become a better leader. So that just means, okay, one of my favorite books back here, uh, this is my favorite uh, biography, okay? And diving into this biography, all of these pages, okay, for 30 days. So I could probably read this book five times in 30 days if I was reading maybe 30 pages a day. And to me, that will help me not just like skim across uh, the, the, the different verticals of the world. I've, I already know who I like, what I like, what I'm passionate about, marketing, business, fitness, parenting, and, my, and personal development and growth. And so that is going to help me learn Elon Musk's story so deeply that I can find some distinctions that would be able to help me. So just a little elaboration on, on why. So I, and I've spent a ton of time trying to make mine specific and, and measurable. And, um, I got started about a month ahead of Morgan because my birthday is on October 15th and hers is November 15th. So we'll both have it rounded out by the end of the year. All right. Yeah. Yeah. What do you guys think? Um, someone asked about our book. Oh yeah. Um, Coming so soon. yeah, we are exciting uh, stuff happening. Very, very exciting. We actually have a big meeting today on that her and I, so more to come there so guys you now have the framework we would love to hear um you know what some of your goals are because 
speaking them out loud will also help you stay accountable. Putting them out there for the world, you know, putting them on paper is step one. Mm -hmm. And then sharing those with other people that you love that aren't going to judge you for them, um, that are just going to support you, but also hold you accountable, which that's what we have to do to each other. And sometimes we get mad when I'm trying to hold him accountable. He's trying to it's like, ah, I know, you know, but that's they, they want that because they want to see the, the most potential come out of you. So I would encourage you to write these goals down um, and make sure they're smart. And share it with somebody. Share it with Devin and I. You know, DM us, um, comment below. We would love to hear what your theme is for the new year and what goals you have. And hey, how can we help you? Okay, I, I I have a, I have an idea. You ready? What okay. we're gonna do is we're gonna link that blank sheet that I showed you. Okay, I'll show you guys again. We're gonna li link this blank sheet to uh, the show notes in the podcast, and you guys can download this. Right, and uh, you can just have it. This is the template that we're talking about, and you can have it for yourself. And we highly recommend that you work on this sheet and that you set your vision for yourself, for your life, and have a theme for your year. And this way, you don't have to uh, come up with your own. You can just use ours. How about that? Right. Is that good? All right. Okay. Two Sounds claps good. on two. Two claps on two. One, two. Bye, guys.